I'm at the HP stand Digital Experience at CES 2009. I'm here with Paul Campbell, who's Director of Marketing for the Voodoo range. Paul, this looks like an interesting system. Can you tell me about it? Sure. HP has introduced at CES this year the world's first high-performance, low-power consumption desktop computing system that's geared for high graphics-rich applications like video editing, gaming, and photo editing. Did you say high performance and low power? Yes. One of the things we wanted to do with this product was get off that treadmill of building bigger boxes that required more power, generated more noise, and guzzled energy out of the power outlet on the wall more than anything else. We wanted to create something new that's really different. Okay, can you show us how it's done, please? I sure can. One of the key things we did in building this product was creating low energy co components used on the inside. So what we did with this product was use low energy pro components like the NVIDIA small form factor graphics cards. We have two NVIDIA graphics cards running in SLI mode so you get the most performance for graphics rich applications like gaming. We also did something that was very, very uh, clever in designing the product by moving the power supply which is over here, a 350 watt power supply outside the chassis. What that did was allow us to shrink the system and not have any problems with um, heat creation inside the chassis and reduce noise from fans that are generally put inside the chassis to cool the power supply. You say this system's SLI and it's more form factor. Was that done specially for HP? It was. We worked closely with our partners at NVIDIA to create this particular configuration using NVIDIA small form factor graphics cards, the GeForce 9800S, standing for small form factor. And with that, we were able to create this environment where we have a flat structure that creates high power in SLI mode. And with NVIDIA, we're using the hybrid technology where we have a third uh, GPU on the system, which is integrated, which allows you to use, when you're not doing graphics rich applications, you just use that normal GPU for your normal applications, like you surfing the internet and doing Microsoft Office applications. And does that happen on the fly? You click a radial button on the screen, and within 10 seconds you can switch over. And how much energy could that save you? For when you're using at most full throttle capacity, you're at maybe 300 to 330 watts. And when you're using low, low power, you're at maybe 110, 120 watt power consumption. Can you run us through the rest of the spec, please? I'm sorry. Can you run us through the rest of the spec, please? So we have in the system uh, a quad-core processor from Intel, the Q9550, which runs at 2.83 gigahertz. We have four gig gigabytes of RAM. We have fully loaded two graphic, two hard drives behind this door. With that, you have 640 gigabytes of storage. It has a Blu-ray uh, drive. It has wireless built in and it has the Creative X5 sound card in it, so you have uh, high-def audio as well. How would I upgrade this PC if I wanted to? It seems like it's all closed in. So one of the things we did was make sure that you could upgrade the components that you want. So you want to upgrade the memory, you want to add an SSD drive for, high, for faster performance and more storage, you can do that. So some of the components are easily upgradable, and for those people that want to, they will. A lot of the, the users of this system are not necessarily going to want to upgrade it because they want a system that just works, it works right out of the box, they turn it on and on, they, off they go. How much will the basic specification be? So the base system starts at $1799 US and then the higher end system that has Blu-ray and stuff is $2099, $2099. Okay. okay Paul, thanks very much, it's a very interesting system. Thank you. You're watching Hexus TV and that's the HP Voodoo DNA system.